Okay, here we are. We Gazelle Freund, photographer. The book by Gazelle Freund. Portrait of Joyce Paris. Joyce's hands, Paris. 1938. I think this is a famous image. Portrait of Joyce's hands. And por portrait of. This is a very famous image of Joyce. Of uh, James Joyce, the famous, the famous writer, he did a portrait of an artist as a young man. From what I understand, he also wrote uh, Ulysses. Ulysses, among other famous, famous works of literature. James Joyce. James Joyce and Andrian Monnier and Sylvia Beach, the two publishers of Ulysses and Shakespeare and Company, Paris, 1938. Adrian Monnier had published the French translation of Ulysses in 1929. So this is uh, Shakespeare and Company, Paris, 1938. A famous bookstore. And it was a publishing house. Most probably, they had to do with publishing also. This looks like it's the same sitting, more or less, same time. Here he is again, James Joyce. James Joyce. That's James Joyce. Now this is Colette, work, working in bed, Paris, 1939. Colette with her husband, Maurice Goodkate, Goodkate in Deauville, 1954. Colette and her husband. And here she is working in bed. Paris, 1939. She was an author. I think she was an author. An authoress. Colette did not care about looking beautiful in her photographs. I think that above all, she wanted to fascinate. With her sharp gaze and contrived gestures. She was a born actress who loved the camera and understood its demands. She preferred to work lying down because already in 1939 she suffered a good deal from arthritis in her feet. She knew all the secrets of makeup, having been an actress and having also owned a cosmetic shop. You can't tell her age from my photograph, but she was already over 60. I had to promise her that no one would see these pictures before she did and that she would decide whether they could be published. When she came to my place to see a projection of these color photographs, she was accompanied by a young man. Stay outside, she told them. We studied the pictures by ourselves and I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous waiting for her verdict. Finally, her face lightened in a smile. She opened the door with an imperious gest gesture. Come in, Maurice. You can look. Maurice was her new husband. That's Colette. Colette.
Jean Poulin, editor of the Novello Review Front, Francois, Paris, 1947. Garden Party, party at Gilly Mars, Paris, 1967. Garden Party. Andre Giddy with today it was La Petite Dame. Andre Giddy under the mask of Leopard, Leopard Day in his home Rue Vanin, Paris, 1939. Herman Hess. Montagnola, early 1950s. Romain, Romain Bernard Paris, 1940. Oh, this is an interesting. what it says about it. This is the Académie Française in 1940, the only time that the immortals have allowed themselves to be photographed during a dictionary session. That's the Académie Française, Académie Française 1940. The only time that the immortals have allowed themselves to be photographed during a dictionary session. So this is the Académie Française. This is the only time the immortals had allowed themselves to be photographed. The immortals being in quotations, of course, during a dictionary session. Dictionary session. Paul Valéry. We can read that. Paul Valerie. This is him in his office. Paul Valerie. The editorial of staff of the magazine Messrs in Ville d'Avray, 1937. This tells us about Messrs. Shakespeare and Company. Sylvia Beach, Adrian Monet, and a customer in front of Shakespeare and Company. 12 Rue de l'Audion, Paris, 1938. This is talking about the the bookstore. Every Monet the book, bookstore, La Maison de Amis de la Vie, Paris, 1938. Sylvia Beach in a bookstore, Shakespeare and Company, Paris, 1936.
this is the the bookstore Adrien Monnier Adrien Monnier okay we can photograph this and Adrien Monnier Walter Benjamin. So you can slow it down to read. It can be slowed down to read. So these are portraits. The portraits that she had taken pictures of unemployed youths, England, 1936. That's this this one on the the left over here. Unemployed youths, England, 1936. An unemployed worker's wife and baby, England, 1936. There we go. Unemployed worker's wife and baby, 1936. Unemployed worker's children, England, 1936. Unemployed Worker England 1936. Unemployed Worker England 1936. View from Windows England 1936. Unemployed worker with his family, England, 1936. Crete, in Newcastle, Pontine, England, 1936. In England. Go a little faster, a little faster. All those Huxley.
That's number 38. Victor number 38. E.M. Forster is number 39. Paris, 1935. Jean Richard Block. Jean, John Richard Block and Henry Mann. Henry Mann, 1935. See how this begins. And what's, that's the second part of it. One minute. Here we go. International Congress for the Defense of Culture. It's interesting. That can be looked at. And Oh, that's terrible. That's a uh, Nazi salute by Hit Hitlerite students made May in Frankfurt, 1933. Terrible. Let's see what this is. Let's see what all this is. Students of the Quorum, Military Guild of Writers, students in the procession, May, Day, Frankfurt, 1932. All right, well, I've left it, students, May, Day, Frankfurt, 1932. Which one is that? That's number 30. That's number 30. Demonstration by the leftist students in front of the university. That's uh, number 31. Picture number 31. The police approach to confiscate, confiscate the black card. See this over here? Demonstration by right of student in front of the university under the Protection of the police, May Day Franklin, 1932. That's 28. Most of the rightist students were under the protection of the, poli of the police. The leftist students, they, they took away their blackers. They took away the blackers. Crowd listening to a speaker, May Day, Frankfurt, 1932. Shupo, policeman, May Day, Frankfurt, 1932. A Shupo, policeman. That's the, these are the policemen. Now this is a uh, crowd listening to a speaker, May Day, Frankfurt, 1932. May Day Speaker, Frankfurt, 1932. Let's see what we'll get what she says about Frankfurt. This we can slow it down and it can be it can be read.
Let's see if there's more text. More text on this in Frankfurt. Let's see if there's more. Oh yes, there is. Here, this is the end of that unfortunate, yes, and it's terrible things, unfortunately. So let's make sure we have it all. And then over here. Introduction. Fans of the Beatles, London, 1963. Fans of the Beatles, London, 1963, and then this is Old Woman, London, 19th, Old Woman, Paris. Baby, Mexico, 1950. Francois Mitterrand in the Garden of the NSA, Paris, 1981. Francois Mitterrand. He was the Prime Minister of France uh, later on. Peddler Paris, 1960, let's see, Peddler Paris, 1960, which one is that, that's, uh, 1960, in the old quarter of Frankfurt on Main, 1932, self-portrait of these old Paris, 1939. Peddler, Paris. Beggar, London, 1933. Oh. Beggar, London, 1933. And then Peddler, Paris. 1960. Peddler, Paris, 1960. Forward, and here she is. This is the... The Don't Find. Don't no find on the terrace, never studio really like I know, Paris nineteen thirty three. Yeah, no there she is. So we have this. Yeah, this can go now to a nice, a good place. I think this can be red. There we go. His old point. Photographs. More books later on. 
Okay, thank you very much.